A water park is something children will never get tired of. But after what happened to Lydia and her children today, they would think twice about ever going back to one. Lydia took her two children to the water park to make new happy memories after her divorce, but instead experienced her worst nightmare when she lost her youngest son, Kevin. This was something she never expected to happen. Lydia felt her heart sink into her shoes. Her stomach turned and her hands became clammy. This can't be happening, she thought. She immediately ran to the slides and began calling for her son. Kevin! Kevin! She yelled frantically. Her daughter Sarah followed and also yelled for her brother, tears streaming down her face. Feeling helpless, Lydia called the police. They arrived shortly after and prevented anyone from leaving the park. They searched the park, but when they failed to find him, they thought of something else to do. Security cameras surrounded the park and captured every inch of it, so there had to be some footage of Kevin on there. The police officers brought Sarah and Lydia into the security control room. The footage of Kevin was already playing on the screens. A tear rolled down Lydia's cheek as she watched her son's disappearance through the screen. But what happened to Kevin? Why did he leave his mother and sister? And will they ever find him? Lydia wanted to surprise her two children with a fun day out. So after a lot of thinking, she settled on going to the water park. This was something she and her kids hadn't done since she divorced their father, so she wanted to make new memories with just the three of them. She knew it would be difficult to keep an eye on both of her children, but she didn't want to deprive her kids of this experience because of that. So she laid down a few ground rules. One of them was that her oldest daughter, Sarah, 14, had to stay with her younger brother, Kevin, 7, at all times. There had been a slight struggle to get Sarah to agree with the rule, but Lydia booked the tickets as soon as she did, and they were off to the water park. The park was huge, with at least six different slides, a child section for the little ones, and other fun activities to do in the water. But with a huge water park also came a huge amount of people. Children were running around and climbing in and out of the water constantly. You could hear parents yelling for their kids to watch out, and there were only a few beds left for them to lie in. Suddenly, Lydia doubted if she had made the right decision. A loud scream broke Lydia's concentration, and she bolted up. Mom! Mom! Sarah came running toward her mother with tears streaming down her face. Sarah, what happened? Lydia asked her daughter. Sarah panted and cried. I... Kevin, she stuttered. What is it? Where is Kevin? Her mother asked worriedly. Sarah, where is Kevin? Lydia asked again. She grabbed her daughter by the shoulders. Where is he? Panic started to rise inside her. I lost him, Sarah cried. We were supposed to meet at the red slide because he wanted to go down one more slide before we headed back to you, but he never showed. Lydia felt her heart sink into her shoes. Her stomach turned and her hands became clammy. This can't be happening, she thought. She immediately ran to the slides and called for her son. Kevin? Kevin? Sarah followed her and also yelled for her brother, tears still streaming down her face. Sarah brought her mother to the slide where they were supposed to meet. She told her mother which slides they had gone down and which slides Kevin seemed to enjoy the most. They checked those slides first, but when they were still unable to find him, they began to search the whole park. Bystanders, as well as the lifeguards, sensed something was wrong and they started to help Lydia and Sarah with searching. Soon, almost everyone inside the water park yelled for Kevin to come back, but there was still no sign of him. Hours passed by and Lydia felt there wasn't more she could do on her own. Feeling helpless, Lydia called the police. They arrived shortly after and prevented anyone from leaving the park. They searched the park, but when they failed to find him, they thought of something else to do. Security cameras surrounded the park and captured every inch of it, so there had to be some footage of Kevin on there. The police officers brought Sarah and Lydia into the security control room. The footage of Kevin was already playing on the screens. A tear rolled down Lydia's cheek as she watched her son's disappearance through the screen. Kevin walked away from the red slide where his sister was waiting for him and went somewhere no one expected him to go. Kevin told his sister he would go down one more slide before they returned to their mother. Sarah agreed and said he could go down the red one, but little did she know Kevin already had a slide in mind, and it wasn't the one she had suggested. Kevin snuck past his sister and walked toward a big blue slide. There was a bright yellow line that said, Do not enter. Keep out but that only made Kevin more curious. He stood in front of the slide for a few seconds and looked around to see if no one was watching him. 
Then when the coast was clear, he snuck under the line and disappeared up the stairs. Lydia watched with her hand over her mouth. She never expected her little boy to do something so dangerous. Where does that slide lead to? She asked the lifeguard worriedly. The lifeguard didn't reply to Lydia's question, but she could see from his expression that something was wrong, very wrong. Ma'am, we need you to sit down for a moment, the police began. We have to speak with the lifeguards in private before we can give you any more information. So, for the time being, we need you to stay here and wait. Lydia couldn't believe what she was hearing. You want me to wait? It felt like Lydia's heart was about to jump out of her chest. She sat down with Sarah and held her hand. This is not your fault, she whispered to her daughter. You couldn't have known he would do something like this. Sarah looked down and sighed. This is the worst day ever. It felt like an eternity until the officers returned. They sat down at the table where Sarah and Lydia were sitting and looked at them with serious looks on their faces. The bright yellow line with, do not enter, wasn't there for no reason, one officer began. He paused for a second. You see, the slide wasn't done yet. They were still some pieces missing and there was no water running through it, the officer continued. But, Lydia responded, you must know where it leads to, right? Can't you follow in my son's footsteps and go down the slide yourself? What if he is stuck somewhere inside? It's not that simple, the officer replied. There are certain protocols we have to follow. For now, we need you to go home and wait for us to call. We have a good lead and we'll find your son very soon. But there isn't anything else you can do. Lydia disagreed with him, but agreed anyway. And so she and her daughter went home and waited. Two days later, Lydia got a call from the police. They had found Kevin. He was unharmed, but very cold and distraught. The slide led him outside the water park, and he got lost trying to find his way back. Lydia was overjoyed to be reunited with her son and never let him out of her sight ever again.